So, imagine you have a dog, and your dog's name is Frank. It's a strange dog name, but just go with it. You and Frank are best pals. You go on walks together, Frank always walks faster, but still, you really love Frank a lot. You only have one photo of Frank, though, the Scoofy shot of Frank at his birthday party, drooling on the cake. And because you love this weirdly named dog so much, you're worried you might lose this photo. So you upload the photo, your favorite photo, to one of your favorite photo websites, like Flickr, Facebook, or Picasa. And without realizing it, you just started cloud computing. But what does that mean? When you put Frank's photo online, you could picture a giant cloud coming down to vacuum up this photo off your laptop. Then the photo of Frank, birthday hat and all, lives up in the cloud until you need to look at it again. You log on to Flickr or Facebook, and there's Frank. You can see him from wherever you want, from home, from work, even on your phone, in case you start missing Frank during your lunch break. At first, the cloud seems like magic, but it's not. The photo of Frank isn't flying around in the sky. Frank's photo actually lives in a secret warehouse full of computers. These warehouses are called data centers, or server farms, and they're popping up all over the world, just like crops. Inside one of the computer warehouses, there are rows and rows of refrigerator-sized computer towers that are way more powerful than your home computer. It's hard to know exactly where your photo of Frank may be once it's in the cloud. That's because it may be in a dozen of these warehouses all at once. Frank may be chilling in Paris or hanging out in India. There's really no way to know for sure. You just have to trust a web company, like Google or Microsoft, to keep Frank safe. There are a bunch of reasons to do this. The first is that, well, you only have one photo of Frank. It's on your laptop. And if that laptop breaks, if an alien comes to steal the data, or if your apartment melts when a volcano erupts, you're out of luck. No more Frank, no more memories. But when Frank's in the cloud, he's stored not just in one place, but all over the place. So you're less likely to lose him. You also can access Frank's photo from anywhere. You can send a link to some of your friends so they can see Frank too. That's just one of the many powers of cloud computing. And it's not just you and Frank. Entire businesses are running in the cloud. There are plenty of reasons to be scared of the cloud too. But for now, you decide to trust the cloud as backup. If Frank's happy, then you're happy.